center court, having had a poster of Rafael Nadal on his bedroom wall as a child, Botic van der Zandt's chelp is now getting used to, but arguably sick of, facing his hero in real life. A second meeting in as many months left van der Zandt's chelp exiting another grand slam at the hands of Nadal, who bested him in three at the French Open and did so again at Wimbledon on Monday. Van der Zandt's chelp had hoped he would get a chance to hurt Nadal on grass this time around, but few opportunities arose, and instead the 6-4-6-2-7-6-6 victory goes down on paper as a straight sets win for the Spaniard, who continues that charge for Grand Slam number 23, and his third of the year, at. In truth. Though, there were times where Nadal toiled somewhat, more as his own worst enemy, not least when he failed to serve out for the match at 5-3 and then squandered three match points in the tie-break, and he will be chasing the necessary improvements when taking on number 11 seed Taylor Fritz. More from tennis I played a bad game, when serving for the match, but it was a positive match against a difficult opponent, Nadal said on court afterwards. To be able to be at the quarterfinals here after three years away is amazing. Both players were tested on serve early on, with Van de Zand. As is typical with players of Nadal and Novak Djokovic's ilk, a first break brought with it the set at 6-4, and it was the opening blow of a quick 1-2 as a break early in the second set soon followed. From level to a set and a breakdown in minutes, Van de Zandt's Chelp desperately searched for a breakthrough, but instead the unforced errors were racking up despite Nadal looking a little sluggish on serve. Nevertheless, despite sending over just 48% of his first serves, Nadal wrapped up the second set with another break. Van de Zandt's Chelp was unwilling to roll over and broke immediately in the third set, but that advantage was immediately extinguished by Nadal, who signaled that normal order had been resumed with a swift hold to love, 